What's going on YouTube? It's Blood Spinning Gears 87. Um, I wanted to show you guys something that I'm working on right quick. I'm out here in the cow pasture where I do a lot of my uh, deer hunting videos. The old abandoned cow pasture. This is the spot where I got those bucks from some of my previous videos. But anyway, this is usually my best spot to hunt. It's the only spot that I have where I don't really have any problems with trespassing. Well, let me say it was the only spot I did have where I didn't have problems with trespassing. Um, I came out here to check my camera a few weeks ago and I have lock boxes on all of my cameras except the one that was here because I've never had an issue with anybody coming back here. But needless to say that on the other side of the woods over here, there was a house and uh, I've had my stuff back here for years. And that house has been there for years. But all of a sudden, the guy that owns the house on the other side of the woods, he sold it. And uh, you guys already know what happened. I'm pretty sure whoever bought that house, which it's, it's just crazy to me that somebody would do that when you just bought the house right there and everybody knows that it's a, you know, a new person staying there. Then all of a sudden, my camera gets stolen. So it just sucks because you can't prove it. But I'm almost for certain that's who took it. But anyway, I bought another one. I put a lock box on it, so we should be good now. I'm hoping. And I went and put no trespassing signs, like in a bunch of spots all around the pasture out here. You really can't see any of the signs from where I am except for this one. But I put signs like all over, and. My camera's been here for like maybe, I believe two or three weeks now. So hopefully nobody's gonna bother it. I guess we'll see what happens. But anyway, another problem I'm having is uh, one, of my, one of my cousins helped me set this up. Well, he actually set it up and uh, he had a press board up under this, uh, this drum right here. And I guess when the press board would get wet, it uh, kept the bottom of the drum wet. So the bottom of the drum has rusted out and it's got holes in it now. So eventually I'm gonna have to uh, replace this drum. I have another one at the house, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and get that one ready, put some holes in it, bring it down here, set it up. But the real problem I'm having is the raccoons keep digging it out. Like when the corn drops down I guess because of the holes or whatever it's starting to go into some of these different little cracks and stuff like that <clears throat> and then the raccoons are just digging it out so you see I tried to put some sticks here just to hold the bricks from falling but the coons are starting to dig it up on like all sides so what I'm going to do is we're going to put some cement down I'm going to pour a little cement see if we can't fix that problem Cause if you know if the cement's all together up under the drum then it won't matter if they dig up around the sides because the, the drum will be on a solid block of concrete so we're going to see if that'll fix that problem but let me get started let's see if we can figure something out real quick all right waiting on the cement to dry and then I'll come back down here and uh, I'll probably sit that drum back on this uh, on the little cement block until I get the other one ready to go. Um, I think I think it's gonna work until I get the other one ready because it's still been holding the corn even though the bottom of it is starting to rust on through and have holes in it. And that, that little cement spot, it isn't 100% perfect. I only bought two 80 pound bags of concrete. Looks like I probably should have bought at least three, but still gonna do the job. It's gonna hold the, the feeder up where the raccoons can't dig up under it. But I'm about to head back to the house and wait for that to dry. I'll come back down here a little bit later. I'll show you guys what it's looking like. And 
here's how we are looking right now. I'm still gonna um end up changing out this barrel because the bottom of this one is rusted out. But I figured I'd throw a bag of corn in it for now and uh see what happens. I'll probably wait until the corn that's in here runs out and I'll start working on the land. I have a, uh, another barrel at the house. I'll start working on that barrel and get it ready to bring down here and set up. But right now, this should at least stop the raccoons from digging it out because you know, the other little cinder blocks I had, they were totally digging up under that and making, making it so that the feeder wouldn't sit steady. And it looked like at some point it was gonna eventually fall over. So pouring a little cement slab right there for now should hold it until I put the new feeder on here. But it is October 2nd now and it is still scorching in South Carolina. I have not been deer hunting at all yet. I was planning to go this weekend but I guess I'm gonna wait and see what the weather's doing. Um, like I say, it's October 2nd and it's still getting up into like almost the nineties every day. So just haven't gone yet, but if it cools down a little bit. We may, we may go out this weekend, see what happens, try to tag a doe. And uh, I definitely check all my cameras this coming Saturday, see what's going on. But until next time, it's Blood Sweat and Gears 87, signing out.